Good afternoon, everyone. I'm still your host, DJ Don with Cherished Memories, DJ.com. And I'm hanging out. It is February 15th, 2018, recovering from Valentine's Day. I hope everyone had a good Valentine's Day. For those of you that didn't, I'm sorry to hear that, but I know I had a great Valentine's Day. Um, today on our show, I have uh, the drummer for Cold Faction, Keith Hurley. How's it going, Keith? Going good. Good. Good, buddy. Well, uh, uh, it, it's very nice to meet you. Um, I, I heard a lot about you. I recently had uh, JC, uh, the guitarist, um, for your band um, on our yep. show. And we were very privileged to have him, and we're very privileged to have you as well, buddy. Thanks. Thanks a lot. So, your band is called Cold Faction, and you're from Jackson, Michigan. Is that right? That is correct, yep. Cool. So tell us what we should know about Cold Faction. Uh, well, Cold Faction, um, I mean, the idea behind the name itself, um, I guess we wanted to start off with like, kind of like, uh, kind of like a political, like anti-political type of, type of thing. And it just had a very strong name. And it's a group of us that like played together for a long time. It's kind of catchy. Yeah, I'd like to think so. <laughs> okay, so um, so tell us real quick um, who all the members are and what everyone plays in the band again. I know JC told us about it on his interview, but we want, we want you to tell us again real quick so we can get a little refresher. Um, okay, well, since you mentioned JC, I'll start with him. Uh, yeah, JC joins. He's our guitar player. I'm our bass player, Errol Whitehead, and I'm I'm the drummer. Um, we're currently auditioning some singers. Seem to be having some uh, uh, kind of like a trend style with singers right now. <laughs> so, but things are looking good. Well, uh, guess what? Uh, I, I spoke to JC the other day, and he kind of let me in on a little bit on who y'all singer might be. We're not going to say it on the air right now, but what we'll do is, if you guys want to know who they're considering for a singer, they should tune into JC's interview. What do you think? Um. <laughs> The funny thing about that is, you know, he name dropped, and a lot of things have happened since he name dropped, and that name may still be in consideration, but we got, like, about three other, three other wow. ones that have, have, like, stepped up since, wow. so I do believe you know one of those people. Oh, yeah? Well, go ahead, go ahead and let us know. Um... I think you know a certain Brian Warner. Yeah, that, I kind of figured you might say Brian Warner. He's a he's a good guy and a good vocalist. So we've got uh, the possibility of Dale Hills, maybe Brian Warner. Who knows yep. what the future holds for uh, Cold Faction? But it's very exciting, and we're looking forward to it. Indeed, yeah, it's getting exciting to see the interest. It was looking kind of grim there for a second. So uh, okay, so I've got some really cool questions. Uh, lined up for you Keith um, my first question I guess you would say is um, bands come and go all the time so do you see yourself still jamming with Cold Faction in say like five years <clears throat> um, wow that is a tough question because you know you said bands come and go I would like to say um, I will absolutely be jamming with my brothers JC and Errol for a very long time because we have some history, whether I'm in cold faction or not. But I'd like to say, yeah, we're going far. Cool, cool. So would you say that you're a faster, more aggressive drummer, or are you kind of the more laid back, chill kind of guy? Oh, oh, no. Um, I, I'm neither of those. I would be, I'd be what you call an OCD drummer. Okay. Okay. Tell us about that. Tell us about that. Um, I, I kind of take my playing style from like a lot of different influences. Like some of my uh, heroes 
and the drummer is like the Rev from the one that died and then them both. Um, Bonham, of course, and uh, Dave Grohl, he's a pretty decent drummer, but I, I take little influences from that, but one of the things I've always done is I never made it about me, and I've always paid attention to all the other parts in the band, and I always thought my job was to find a way to connect all of them. Cool. Cool. So how old were you? when you started drumming, and tell us about that. Oh Lord, um, fifth grade, so, 11, 12. So tell us about it, tell us about it. <laughs> um, actually, I, <clears throat> I'm one of those guys that actually like, learned to like, read and write music, and learned in a classroom setting. Um, I was in the marching band, uh, and, you know, and they had a drum set, and, in the band room, and one of the first songs I learned how to play was uh, Paradise City. Guns N' Roses, but, that's a great band. <laughs> yeah, yeah, great band. Fair enough. Um, and actually, one of the guys that I learned side by side with was Mark Montel. I remember uh, Mark. He actually jammed with uh, JC and Headshot. Yep. Um, I remember Mark very well. I produced Mark a long, long, long time ago. Yeah, he's a. I haven't really seen him in a long time, but he was a phenomenal drummer. Oh, yeah. I, I learned a lot from him. I was uh, once grade below him, and we jammed, we jammed uh, a lot together. So did you go to school with Mark Montel? I did. That's yep. cool. That's cool. Uh, so that just started me down my, my path of actually like being in a band, because actually I was in a band with Mark and JC. I was their singer like before Headshot became a thing. So what was the name of that project? Uh, it was uh, Seven and Seven. Seven and Seven. Huh. Seven Crown, something S like that. It was Sweet. something about drinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my next question for you, uh, Keith, is if you could jam with any artist, past or present, who would it be? Oh, oh my God. Um, I would have to say John Lennon. Beatles, yep. Very, very yep. legendary, John Lennon. Why? Why is yep. that? Why did you choose John Lennon? Uh, I would have to say, a part of that, part of that had to come from my father. Actually, he uh, got me into music when I was really, really young, and the Beatles was one of his favorites. And then I started paying attention. And so, what's what? his name? What's his name? Let's give a shout out to Pops. <laughs> his name is Cliff. What's up, Cliff? Shout out to you, Cliff, if you're listening. Hey, what's up? Um, and he, he, he would tell you uh, very proudly that I was named after Keith Richards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not for sure if I would be proud that I'm named after someone. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I guess, I guess <laughs> it's a matter of opinion um, on that. I guess, it, I guess it's kind of cool. Um, but music has been in my blood since I was really young. So. Right. So yeah, uh, that, that's kind of funny that you say that because that brings me to my next question. Um, I want to talk about some of your old projects and um, stuff like that. I was I was uh, surfing the internet the other day and I saw a little something by a band called Sick Cylinder. Tell us about Sick Cylinder. Uh, Sick Cylinder, um, one of the greatest and saddest things that I've ever done. <laughs> So you were the drummer for Six Cylinder uh, from Jackson, yep. Michigan, is that right? Absolutely, yep. All right, and tell, tell us about that. I saw a video online for the song Corrupt Machine, and I loved what I was hearing. So tell us um, how the song Corrupt Machine came about. Um, I had a dream, actually. <laughs> I had a dream of this, like, uh, drum and bass thing. And it was, it was weird. It was me and Errol in the car. I had this, I had this thing going in, in my head. I went to practice the next day. I'm like, okay, I had this dream. And it was, dun, 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 dun. you know, it was, and it just formed from there. And we were talking about it. Like, you know, that sounds like a broken machine, like yeah. a corrupt machine. And it just went from there. So, uh, so with that being said, um, you have kind of a unique sound. Um, what kind of drum kit do you play? 
I play a Pearl uh, Export Series. Okay. Um, not the fanciest, but I, like I said, I've grown up in music and I know how to tune them very nicely. <laughs> cool. Well, Keith Hurley, the drummer for Cold Faction, it has been awesome, awesome, awesome hanging out with you today. I want to give you the mic real quick before we go so you can shout out anyone or anything. So go ahead, buddy. Um, you know what? I just want to like shout out to anyone who's ever supported me or JP and Arrow in any musical thing that I've ever done because without you guys, without them in front of me loving what I've poured my heart into, I probably still wouldn't be doing this. Cool. And that's what I do. I just love you know, cool. putting my soul out there for other people to hear. All right, buddy. Well, before we go, we generally have one more question. And your question today is listen carefully. If you had to spend the rest of your life listening to three albums and three albums only, what would they be and why? Oh, okay. Um, wow. Well, I can tell you two of them right off the bat. Um, Avenged Sevenfold self-titled album. Yes, very good CD. Um, and why is it a really good CD? And that's the album that I fell in love with the Rev drumming, and I really dived into like the way he he did things. Okay. Um, next, the second one. Um, and this is probably going to sound weird coming from a hard, heavy metal, hard rock drummer, is Counting Crows, August and Everything After. Yep, the Counting Crows are a good band, too. Yeah. Um, and number three. Ooh. 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 Probably the Beatles Anthology. That's a good, you know, that's good to throw a little greatest hits album in there. So I actually have my choices lined up. So you ready to hear mine? Yeah. Okay, so, so so CD number one would be Hybrid Theory by Linkin Park because mm -hmm. I could listen to that CD from song one to the very last song and every song is just amazing. It's all full of energy and it's just amazing. I but can't dispute that. The second CD would probably be uh, the Marshall Mathers LP by Eminem because there's a lot of um, lyrics in there. There's a lot of strong messages. It is a very, very popular CD. It was a huge CD um, when I was growing up and about the time I was in high school. And CD number three would actually be Dear Agony by Breaking Benjamin. Um, Breaking Benjamin is an amazing band. I love those guys. Um, I've recently had the privilege of hanging out with them. And Dear Agony um, has a lot of great material on it. There's, there's so many good songs with so many different messages and it seems like Every time That's you listen, one you could definitely listen from beginning to end. Yeah, you sure. could listen to the songs on Dear Agony, and every time you would get a different meaning from the songs because they are just so powerful. So, Keith Hurley, it's been amazing hanging out with you, buddy. Uh, for those of you guys that are listening in, make sure you guys check out Cold Faction online. You guys got a Facebook, or um, I think um, JC was talking about you guys had a Facebook. So, get on Facebook, check out Cold Faction. Check me out on the internet, cherishedmemoriesdj.com. It was a pleasure, Keith. We'll talk to you later, buddy. Thank you very much. All right, peace. 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 Gentlemen, peace. ladies, it's been fun. I'm still your host, cherishedmemoriesdj.com. You guys be safe. I've got to get going. So have fun. Peace out. Ladies and gentlemen, the excitement is building. Who will be the next lead singer of Cold Faction? Many people want to do it. Only one person gets the job. I got inside information. There are two front runners, and those front runners are Dale Hills and Brian Warner. Who will it be?
hopefully we can whoever ends up being the lead singer of cold faction will hit us up and we can get them as a guest on our show and they can talk about the audition process so good luck to dale hills ryan warner and whoever else auditions for the band again dale hills or ryan warner who do you guys think it should be leave us your comments um and your vote in the comments um i'm dj don thanks for tuning in to everyone peace